Hello, my name is Nathan Allen Wilkinson. I'm a multimedia artist, primarily working with uh, film photography as well as digital photography. Uh, I do some wood carving and I do painting and drawing as well. I'm going to start out the presentation by showing you some of the influences that inform my artwork. So Pablo Picasso, Vasily Kandinsky, uh, Cubist, Abstract Expressionist, they uh, were my main interests when I first started creating art. I was very interested in line and form and color uh, and abstraction uh, to see how it can create a physical impact and as well as emotional impact on a person. Uh, Marcel Duchamp, Cubists, uh, an ex existentialist psychoanalytic painter such as Francis Bacon uh, and sculptors like Alberto Giacometti, uh, they inform my work as well, uh, particularly Francis Bacon's life and his story. Uh, and his paintings of uh, violence are very interesting to me. Uh, Cindy Sherman, a female photographer, works with costume and uh, makeup uh, to recreate historical imagery and myth. Uh, and she works with self-portraiture. And then Carl Walker, who does a lot of sculptural work now, uh, informs my work because it's uh, very historical. And the uh, socialist and communist nations in 20th century history, uh, atrocity crimes in general, have become a major interest of mine. And similar to uh, Carl Walker and Cindy Sherman, I want to try to start weaving this into my artwork and start creating discussions about good and evil and the untaught history. So now we're on to some of my work. Uh, these are two drawings that I've created, uh, kind of drawing off of Pablo Picasso and Francis Bacon, uh, maybe Lucian Freud a little bit too, looking at fragmenting the body and flattening it uh, and abstracting the body in a sense. And then here's some cubist work and expressionist uh, gestural uh, uh, piece I did with charcoal and watercolor. Um, this was just playing with ideas of mark making and following the motion of line as well as creating uh, multiple perspectives at once. Here's a wood sculpture I did. I use a small gouge blade and I just start carving away at holes and I was playing with ideas of uh, compulsive behavior and uh, violence uh, and it just naturally kind of formed these faces. I didn't plan anything out, just dug and they emerged. Uh, now we're into my photographic work. I enjoy working with landscape and nature and creating scenes out of uh, objects in nature around me and trying to transport viewers into a surrealistic location. Um, a lot of my work is based in uh, painterly uh, aesthetics, trying to mix painting with photography through composition and lighting uh, and the soft aesthetic uh, on the left, there's this uh, large tree that looks very figural. And then this is a composition I created with dried out uh, plants on the right. This is a chrome sculpture from the Dan or, uh, the Boboli Gardens. Uh, I was playing with lighting and composition here uh, to merge sculpture with environment as well as my own figure because it's documented multiple times, uh, repeated multiple times throughout the sculpture itself. Uh, this was a project I worked on for a Hue Archive monochromatic palette using abstraction uh, by layering transparent objects, playing with shadow and highlight uh, to blend forms as well as create new ones. Uh, I took this image out a uh, window in the Medici Palace. It uh, uh, and I was playing with ideas of abstracting the city and how as a tourist, it's very distorted uh, from my perception from what it's actually like to live there. Uh, playing with some Holga color film photography here. I really liked the uh, psychedelic abstract surreal uh, imagery that the Holga is able to capture. And it, I think it helps me achieve that sense of taking the viewer and dropping them into a place that uh, presents them with something new. Uh, again, uh, painterly aesthetics. This is a trail of tires in Slab City leading up to Salvation Mountain. Uh, I'm trying to get the viewer to think what is on the other side of that? What is like, when why Salvation Mountain as well? 
This is a full bronze sculpture that I documented and through editing in Lightroom, I took out warm tone saturation and I left it with this uh, cool tone palette. Uh, just trying to think about how there's presence and absence through objects and materials as well. Uh, this is again, focusing on a painterly aesthetic. Uh, I chose these two images to put next to each other to show how there's the quiet life of Venice, but then the tourist side is jam packed full of people um, showing the tranquility and the chaos of the city, but equally beautiful. Here's some tourists in Venice. It was very strange paying $100 to get on a gondola and have someone push you around. Uh, so here I used the painterly aesthetic to observe and document human behavior uh, and the interaction I had with these tourists as well as the gondolier. Uh, here are some scenes I created using dollhouse furniture uh, inside of a dollhouse I made as a child. Uh, I wanted to document relatable human behavior and scenes with toys and try to understand our relationship with these figures that we use so much. Uh, here, playing with lighting again and trying to, uh, on the left, take biblical religious figures that are benevolent and put them in a lighting that makes them look out of character, untypically. Uh, and on the right is a portrait of my friend Bryn. Uh, it's kind of seductive here, uh, again, using the body and light to create emotion and thinking about how I can compose imagery to present a new perspective to a viewer, uh, whether it be uh, physiological or emotional.